Hello everyone, welcome back to The Plunder Den. In this week's episode, the Christmas special, we're going to cover the assembly of docks. Docks are a great piece of terrain, uh, and a generic piece of terrain really, that you could use for any game. Everybody should have a, a dock or a bridge or, you know, buildings, anything that you can use in your, and your fantasy or war tabletop games. Uh, so this is a piece of terrain also that's been highly requested from the community for me to build. Ever since I posted pictures of my uh, port of plunder, people asked where I got my docks from. And I told them I assembled them. And I said, great, can you put that on one of your videos? We really want to see how that is assembled. So this episode is dedicated to the construction and painting of docks. So I'll show you here, this is the completed product. And I went a step further than I usually do with my docks. So there's definitely a lot more layers of paint in here, and we're going to discuss that in the in the paint tutorial. Uh, but I also uh, wanted to show you that I added a fishnet, um, some buoys, uh, just kind of added little extra details. We got our trademark nails that I like to put on my uh, docks, uh, and all those kind of things. But I also made this terrain able to be played on a flat tabletop surface, so that was important uh, in my previous dock builds. Uh, I custom built that for my Porta Plunder, which is actually a foam kind of rocky uh, shoal kind of thing, and then the docks fit onto it. But I didn't have anything for a flat tabletop surface. So if I want to have uh, my plantation I was talking about, or uh, maybe a farmstead, I didn't have any kind of docks uh, that I could just go on a flat surface. So I kind of added these two pieces on here, and I have this little compartment here, and you hook it in there and there you go so we're going to construct this in this video uh, and this docks are ready for a flat tabletop surface perfect for any game uh, that you guys are playing really any tabletop game all right so if you guys like what we're doing here on the planet Inn, make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the blunder den and get first-hand information on when i start these kind of projects all right everyone let's get down to the table let's start painting and let's start crafting Okay, so here's how I started. Uh, really got all the materials ready. I uh, got a bunch of popsicle sticks. Uh, and really I've uh, cut the ends off all of them um, using, you know, different tools. Uh, you can see I use those kind of like pliers and uh, snipping tools and some scissors. Some of them I broke off. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate right now. Um, I just wanted to have a real rustic look to my dock. Uh, it kind of matches all the rest of the docks I've done. I've kind of done this on all of them. I kind of just want to look like it was just leftover planks or whatever that they've kind of built this dock out of. So it has a really weathered look. Then I got a assorted uh, amount of dowels. I got all sorts of different sizes, large, small, uh, right down to uh, match sticks and uh, just various different pieces of wood. Also, I have some twine here. Uh, this is going to be kind of like the uh, ropes that are around the uh, uh, of some of the docks. So I just wanted to add some of that uh, twine. So then I uh, got my uh, X-Acto knife, and I've shown this in previous videos. Uh, again, mentioning that popsicle sticks don't really have a lot of texture to them. Uh, so you have to add it. So I definitely uh, used my... Uh, Exacto knife here and, and carved into uh, to the popsicle sticks here. Uh, Give myself a nice little wood grain on all of them. So again, this is tedious, time consuming, uh, but definitely uh, worth it. Uh, adds a lot to it. So now I got my uh, all my dowels cut up. I just actually just use a Dremel tool and cut them all up. Um, just showing you that kind of the measurements. Uh, the tallest ones were about two inches. Uh, but I definitely had a whole bunch of different sizes. Uh, I like to put a whole bunch of different sizes together. Uh, but I'm just showing you uh, that was a one and a half. I got ones that are just one inch high. Uh, and uh, that's kind of how I decided to, uh, to put it together. So I led off with the two larges together. And then I kind of went to large and a medium. And then large and small right at the very front of the docks. I'll show you as uh, we get closer. So on the first two, uh, just to make it a little bit easier, I hot glued those two together. 
Uh, and the rest of the um, dowels I want to put on there, I'm going to just use the tacky glue and glue it together. So I'm just kind of demonstrating that. That's how I'm going to put them together. Uh, so I kind of just hide the hot glue spots with really with other pieces with uh, the tacky glue. But uh, just kind of put it all together. So I'm just showing you six. So there's going to be six different uh, supports for this dock. So then I wanted to make my uh, my uh, posts a little more rustic. So I just took my old exacto uh, blade again and kind of uh, uh, carved into them. I just kind of chipped away at these just to give it a little more um, the weathered uh, or damaged look. It looked more like it was made with uh, hand tools than it was, uh, you know, a smooth dowel. Uh, I actually go back later once I glue it and, and even add more. I'm just kind of ripping apart. Uh, uh, obviously be careful with this <laughs> this can be dangerous but i'm doing here uh but uh just uh, it'll add a lot of texture to these uh to these supports that's showing you i plan on doing all of them all right so this is after i've hot glued them and i've used a tacky glue to glue them all together so i'm just showing you again uh and uh plan on adding just a few more uh little supports so i added some of those match sticks to them uh just to add a little bit more uh, of a rustic feel. It's like just the scrap wood they put together to make these supports for this uh, dock. All right, so then I got, uh, these are probably the only uh, popsicle sticks I do have straight ends on, uh, as I do plan on putting two on the front, kind of finishes off the front of the dock. Uh, so I've just shown you after I've completed, I even put a little piece of balsa wood on that one. <laughs> There's like the scrap wood, different sizes, like carved into them. Uh, and just get a kind of a, all sorts of weathered look to them. All right, so then we're, I just kind of shown you, I plan on uh, gluing those uh, supports on there. So I'm going to do the cross beams first on the very front. Uh, and then uh, before I glue the rest of them together, so I'm just going to hot glue those together. Yeah, usually on these main supports, I just used hot glue. It's just faster, it dries faster, and you're able to move rapidly through this project. So uh, now I'm planning on doing the other four supports. I want to put some twine, so kind of a rope around them. Kind of that's what they uh, tie their boats up to, and I just want to add that to uh, uh, four of the posts. So to get it started, I just used the hot glue. Uh, and glued the one end of the twine and then I actually just put tacky glue all over the rest and then I wrapped it around that and then I put a couple of more beads of hot glue just to kind of hold it all together uh, and once it dries it's solid it's not going anywhere so then I kind of did that with all the uh, rest of the posts here just kind of showing you that's what I'm planning on doing all right so now we've added all our twine to all our posts they're looking good now I just want to make one more note about the posts. Uh, make sure you have the longest post is facing inwards because that's kind of where all your supports are going to be attached to, right? So they all have to be facing the same way. So I'm just telling you I'm going to plan on putting uh, one cross beam on all of them. So here, this is best to just show you guys. So that's kind of how I started. I glued them all together. And now I'm going to do the uh, cross beams going the other way, connecting them all together. And th these steps I did all with a hot glue gun. So I'm just quickly, rapidly going through this, uh, gluing them all together with a hot glue gun. So there we go. So now we get all our supports together. And now we're going to start putting the planks on. Now, the planks, for the most part, I actually originally started with hot glue, then I changed my mind. Uh, you know, it, it just, uh, I'd rather use uh, white glue. So I just put white glue on the edges and then slapped all the planks on. Of course, I had to do some cutting around where the posts were. Uh, and then I kind of had to add a little extra on the end here. Now, I extended that out uh, because I do plan on putting that little walkway that you can uh, walk from the ground level up. So I'm just kind of showing you that this is the planning stages, kind of figuring out how to do that. So those two support beams are balsa wood. I just kind of angled them on both sides. Uh, I put two matchsticks in there, and that's kind of, so when I put this in, uh, it sits on there, so it goes underneath, and then it hooks onto those two matchsticks. So that kind of supports it. Uh, you can even lift it up, and it'll, it'll be fine. 
So the idea was that uh, on a flat gaming surface that you could actually uh, play this on a flat gaming surface. Uh, most of my docks were custom made for my uh, port of plunder. So uh, this works out much better, uh, more versatile. So now we're going to move on to paint. So back to the uh, black craft paint. Same as I always do. And I'm going to cover everything, including the rope, everything. Everything's going to be covered in the black paint. I don't want to leave anything with its original color. Uh, and mentioned in previous videos, I like to make sure everything looks like it's part of the same world by coloring everything, painting everything. So then halfway through, I got this freaky fabric. <laughs> so never uh, underestimate Clarence Halloween stuff. Uh, I found some of uh, this fabric and I thought this would be great fish nets. And I've always wanted to put some on some, uh, I was actually thinking about making a fishing boat, but I think I'm going to put some on this uh, dock. So I'm just showing you to use that white PVA glue. I actually I put a lot of my hand and just kind of sh uh, smeared it all over that uh uh, stuff and kind of pushed it down and then I, I had to put black paint over top of it I'm just showing you right now and it actually kind of condenses it all down uh, and it hardens I did actually uh, end up putting more to the end too as well uh, so I got more on there so you can see how it's compressed down so those things I'm pointing to those are just little white beads uh, I usually use them for door handles but I'm going to use them as like kind of buoys and I just use the, the white glue to glue them on top of there so I'm showing you, I got all the black paint finished. You can see I put another fish net further up. Uh, and I really like the way they uh, looked. It came out solid. They're rock hard right now. They're perfect. Uh, great for painting. So I'm just showing you the other piece. I also did the same thing. Uh, just uh, primed it with that black paint. So now I'm going to go to a similar step that I always do. Uh, is the uh, real brown and the bark brown. Uh, and similar to the bridge paint job. I'm going to uh, put most of the color in the center of the of the dock. So I fade it out as I go further out to the edges of the dock. So it should be the darkest on the edges of the dock uh, and be the lightest in the center. Because I, eventually I want to get a good weathered look in the middle of the dock. So it looks like a lot of people walked on it and it looks like a, a real weathered dock. So I'm kind of laying the groundwork for that already um, by... Uh, putting these lighter colors uh, into into the center. So, of course, I dry brush the entire thing. Um, I'm just sh showing you the basic starts of it. Okay, so this is uh, the real brown has been added and the bark brown has been added. So I've done both colors. Same thing, dry brushed it. As you can see, uh, I've made it brighter in the center because that's going to be the weathered part of the dock where the most people walk. So then I'm going to move to my uh, dry brushes by Army Painter. And I'm going to move to the, the Pablo. And I'm just going to, again, hit that center and lighten it up. But actually, I'm going to touch all sorts of different areas with this Pablo. I uh, put some on a little bit on the fishing net. I put some on the rope. I put it on the entire piece. Just to highlight a few areas and add some contrast and some different colors. But I definitely work a lot of this Pablo into the center of the dock. All right, so I'm just kind of showing it a little bit longer here just so you guys can see uh, the technique. It's kind of a, it's more of a smearing technique than it is a dry brushing technique, especially in the center. So I'm kind of like really pushing hard and smearing the paint in the center. And I kind of did that with all the colors uh, just to really get it uh, worn in that center. And some of the other areas I just touched it was dry, like using a dry brush technique. So I'm just showing you, I'm planning on hitting all sorts of different areas there. And then, of course, using this same technique on that other component. So then I moved on to the camel. So the camel really sells the uh, the whole weathered center look. So you've laid some uh, colors, you've lightened the dock up, and it's darker on the edges. Uh, it, really, it does have a pretty good transition. But I really want to go to uh, that weathered look. So uh, this camel really gives it that... Uh, weathered walk to look like we've walked this uh, dock quite a bit and it's weathered right down uh, and some of the color is, is missing. So again, I spent a little bit more time showing this uh, uh, technique because I, I, I haven't really shown this before. I guess the closest would probably be the bridge, but mainly here I am I'm smearing it. So I'm pushing it really hard into there. Uh, and uh, hitting all those uh, different areas in the center of the dock. 
So we're just going to stay here for a moment and I'm just going to show a little bit of the paint technique here. As you can see, I'm really gripping that brush hard and really pushing it in there. So th there isn't a lot of paint on that dry brush. I really uh, hit it on the paper towel quite a bit, just a little bit. Um, but uh, that's how you get that weathered look. Uh, you have to really uh, push it hard into there. Um, so I really, really, it's kind of like working it in. <laughs> You're really working in that color into that uh, into that wood. That's why you never could do this on foam. You would you have to do it on wood. Uh, it just wouldn't come out right if you uh, did a foam dock and try to use the same pa paint technique. All right, so I'm just showing you. Uh, I can see it's really weathered. I, I hit the tips of those uh, posts just to kind of uh, imply that it's uh, lighter wood on the inside. And I hit the uh, other component, the uh, ramp, let's call it. Uh, and so now moving to uh, yellow ochre, I'm going to hit some of the ropes, give it a little more of a yellow look. And I do end up adding a, a tinge of yellow ochre to the center. Just gives it kind of a more of a golden feel to the whole dock. Hit the bottoms, just kind of showing you all the whole area. And I use the same technique, really smearing it in the center. But I put so uh, little of the yellow ochre in the center. I didn't really want to get rid of all of that camel, that really good weathered look to it. All right, so then I'm going to go to Army Painter Paints, and I'm going to go to the Desert Yellow. And really, I'm just going to put some yellows down on this, uh, on the the ropes. I want to kind of give it a, a bright yellow color. I am going to put some contrast paint over top of it, uh, and then I'm going to go back and highlight it again with yellow. So it's kind of multiple layers on that rope. All right, so this got some uniform gray. I plan on hitting that fishnet. So really, I've only highlighted with a few colors. I stopped at the Pablo, never added the desert. Uh, sorry, never added the camel. But uh, now I'm going to add some gray. I kind of want some grays and greens in my fishnet. Uh, so that's kind of the color choices. And I kind of wanted to make it different than the rest of the dock. Uh, you don't want to get faded, faded away into the rest of the uh, piece. You want it to stand out as something different uh, and unique on there. And really wanted to highlight all that... Uh, lovely texture that's, uh, you know, looks, so you, you know, sells the fishnet, essentially. <laughs> so you know what it is. Okay, just showing a little bit, uh, really using a dry brushing technique uh, on that entire uh, fishnet. It's adding that uh, uniform gray to it. And you can see it's really bringing out that uh, fishnet. I really wanted to highlight it. So just going to show you a little bit more of this technique, and then we're going to add some uh, different colors to that uh, that uh, fishnet. So I'm looking for it. I'm looking for army green right now. <laughs> so there's my army green. I uh, remember I wanted to add a little green to the fishnet, so I hit it with that as well, and then I went uh, back to lighten it up and highlight it with some ash gray. So when I'm putting the ash gray, I've already added the army green to it. Uh, I didn't show that. I just skipped that step. Uh, but I did add it on. And then now I'm adding that uh, ash gray. Just kind of highlighting it even further. And I really kind of touched, uh, lightened up those uh, buoys. All right, so now I'm going to use that uh, contrast paint. Uh, it's a Skeleton Horde uh, by Citadel. And I kind of put it over top of the bright rope. So it kind of gave it a nice nice color to it. Um, uh, shaded it over top. Uh, like I said, I did I do go back and highlight it again with a little bit more, uh, some more yellows and, uh, and skeleton bone and different colors. And I added this pure red onto those uh, beads to make it look more like uh, buoys. Then I went to a milita military shader, sorry, uh, wash uh hit all of the that fish netting they make it look at, like there's some grime and i hit all the bottoms of the dock i'm um, laying the groundwork for algae and plant life down there which i did with that commando green uh and then i went to back to that uniform gray and kind of hit some of the posts down here i'm just showing you i'm going to add color all the way around to the bottom so right now there's only army green and that uh, military shader So now I'm going to add a little bit of strong tone 
and I'm pulling it around with a fishnet just to make it look like it's a little wet there, that they slapped that fishnet there. Uh, and it's a little stained on the deck. Uh, you can see I've got that commando green now on top of the uh, the base of it, really highlighting the bottom of that uh, of dock. So I added that uh, tone, strong tone over top. So now I, I want to add a little bit of bright, uh, highlight the wood. Uh, so it's Morn Fang Brown by Citadel. That's what I'm adding. Uh, and uh, just hitting the tops of the, of the posts, of the supports, and just highlighting them. So then for the last step, what I always do in all my docks is I add little nails. <laughs> uh, you probably would be able to see them in real life that uh, closely, but you know what? I, I like the way it looks. Um, so I just use a very fine brush, use that uh, gun metal, and I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to make little little blobs, little dots. I just like the way that uh, looks uh, overall. I just I think it gives it a just a, a little extra level of detail. So I'll go all the way up the dock, uh, kind of where uh, following the line of the support beam that's underneath the dock. So it does make sense where the nails are. <laughs> okay, so we are finished with the docks. So let's go check out uh, uh, it in action. We got some uh, French buccaneers uh, defending the docks. Uh, from some Dutch raiders, so some Dutch uh, uh, sailors have come to uh, raid this little plantation or farm here. Uh, and uh, let's check out these docks. So you can see I've got the uh, really happy way the fish netting came out. It looks fantastic. I really like the, that look. Uh, I will definitely use uh, that uh, stuff in the future to make more fish netting. I'm definitely going to try it on a boat, I think. Um, so just giving you an overall view, there's our uh, bark <laughs> from our paint, uh, paint tutorial. Uh, it's making a visit back on the, uh, on the channel. Okay, just wanted to wish everybody a happy and safe holidays with their family. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I plan on doing one uh, the following week. Alright, thanks for watching everyone.